uh, where the pavement ends and the dirt begins. We're talking about the land whose town slogan is, huh? Silver Springs, Nevada. <laughs> I'm line one. It's Aaron. Hey, Aaron. What's up? Hey, the building that you guys are in right now, did that used to be called the Old Town Mall? Yes, it did. Yes. And the foggy you know notion was in here. Right now, I am looking at a file of negatives titled Old Town Mall 383. These came out of a, a place called Studio Kaminsky. Uh, and I, I don't know if anybody knows the history of Reno that well or that name, but Studio Kaminsky, this guy was a very well, very prominent local Reno photographer. I also have uh, Mapes Skyroom photos here from 71. Um, do we all remember Ooh La La Legs? Oh, sure. oh you're talking about the Legs uh, commercials, Ooh at La La? The Prima Donna, no, no, at, no, at the, the Prima Donna Club, Del Webb's Prima Donna, there was a show called Ooh La La Legs. And oh boy, howdy, I am going to have to go get some of these negatives developed. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, uh, really? Uh, yes, these, these are negatives. I have a whole box of negatives. And I also, in, in some of the stuff that I'm looking at here today, uh, uh, these are historical pictures of Reno back in the 60s, uh, uh, the prima donna, the front of the prima donna with all, all the, the, the girls up there on the marquee. Uh, and, and I don't know how many people, I remember that as a kid. And I, I also remember, I, I think we all remember it burned down, but the last, Standing prima donna in town happened to be by that adult bookstore down on South Virginia, and, and there was a big thing over it. They, well, no, that's historical. We can't get rid of it's it. It's still there, I think. Wasn't it? I it burned down. No, there was a. Uh, no, I'm talking about the, the last remaining one. I don't believe that. No, I think that was part of the uh, uh, casualty in the fire on the bar that burned down right next to. And and by the way, that bar was attached to the adult bookstore down there. And it didn't burn, so I don't know what really happened there, but uh, <laughs> it's not there anymore. The Zephyr um, bar is right next to it, I know that. Or the used Zephyr, to yes, the Zephyr is still there, yeah. But yeah, these are, uh, and I'm thinking maybe I might have a, 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 a little product line to go right over there at Dave's Nevada by Nevada First. So, because um, this is all stuff that these photographs were all taken here in Nevada. And again, Studio Kaminsky, uh, uh, he, this guy, and I, I'm drawing a blank on his name, but one of the other little treasures that I have from this guy is his original charter, his incorporation bylaws, and the original, I have stock certificates, the original $10,000 stock certificates from Kamin Studio Kaminsky uh, that, that I will be looking into. I, I guess I'll have to get hold of Ken on that over there at uh, uh, Bulls and Bears and see... If, if you got some money or not, worth anything? Yeah. I don't think they're worth anything uh, uh, other than uh, historical value for the city of Reno or something like that. Uh, um, I the the company has been dissolved, and I'm sure that everything. Uh, um, Mr. Kaminsky has passed away, uh, but uh, he, um, like I said, very prominent here in town, uh, and I don't think it would have anything other than a uh, historical context for the city of Reno because he was such a prominent photographer and he did photograph a lot. I also have one here, um, and this one's from 1971. The Taylor Girls, 1997, I'm sorry. Uh, whoever the Taylor Girls are, if anybody out there, Taylor Girls, uh, you remember getting photographed by Mr. Kaminsky? Give me a call. I got some photographs, some negatives here. Uh, uh, they look like they were twins. The they they look like they very well may have been twin. Uh, yeah, uh, and, and like I said, uh, there's a whole roll of this, uh, uh, a whole roll of negatives here uh, on, on these two young ladies. Hmm. Um, it just uh, don't look at them while you're talking. It seems to be taking your voice away. Yeah. Hey, uh, they're kind of breathtaking, you know. Uh, uh, what's that one called? You leave me breathless, uh, Nat King Cole. But one of the other things that I have found is a photograph of JFK and his father. The, the po photograph of his father is from around the turn of the century. 
the photograph of JFK, I'm not quite sure when it was taken, but it is him in his sunglasses looking over his right shoulder. And I have yet to be able to find that image anywhere when I search images. So I may have stumbled upon something. Uh, I have a little rare thing, and uh, who knows um, if I find a JFK fan out there, perhaps. You we'll, might uh, look at some of his sailing pictures. Um, he's in a suit. Okay. He, he, he is in a suit. I'm, I'm looking at it right now. Um, it, it, I, I, yeah, he, he's, he has a suit jacket on. He has a... a Oh gosh! What did they call those glasses back then? Uh, the the uh, kind of horn rim glasses, you know that 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 and, uh, and, uh, Yeah, I, yeah, they very well could have been Varnay since uh, he was a president at one time. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the the photograph of his father. I, I'm guessing this photograph of his father is probably he's in his very early twenties. Uh, I, I don't. Yeah, his cheeks are kind of rosy. It's one of those, uh, it, it's an old black and white uh, uh, photograph. Uh, uh, very entertaining. We'll have to see how that plays out. Well, it, Big it, news in property. What's that, Dennis? The, the pictures of the, re, of the Old Town Mall, uh, you said they're dated 83. Can you tell yes. from the photographs, is the interior, is it copper and brick or is it redwood? Um, I'm looking at some of these. Uh, it still looks like pop from brick. As a matter of fact, one of these, and I can't make out uh, uh, in the negative. I can't. My magnifying glass doesn't bring the lettering up big enough. But the studio, there's a picture of the studio shooting across the thing there. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Maybe that's it right there. But there's a picture uh, of the studio where you guys are sitting right now uh, from across the fountain and stuff. So I'll, hmm. I'll have to get them down there. We'll okay. have to get somebody to take a look at these for us. Uh, uh, in, uh, get, uh, get yeah, because it has a portico out front on this Old Town Mall. Uh, yeah, Dennis would be the guy. He's yeah. the historian here. Yeah, eighty three is when uh, when the remodel was completed. So, and if there's the water fountain in that photo, it would be post remodel. So, yeah, eighty three would. Okay, the, be the, the the columns I can see right now. The columns going up are brick. Yeah, see, they used to be. And, this uh, place used to be redwood. It was all sheathed in redwood. There was a million and a half dollars worth of redwood in here that was taken. Out. Wow! Yeah. Wow! Did, you, did they resell wow. it? No, no, no. I I, I built all my outbuildings. <laughs> my my horse barn, my my goat barn, my all my outbuildings. Were you know what? I believe redwood. the last word in the title is center. I cannot make out what, but I'm looking right now across. Uh, uh, it, it would have been a picture taken across the fountain towards where the studio is right now, where you guys are sitting right now today. Mm -hmm. uh, so, But, you know, the, hey, um, real quick before we get out of here today, the big news in property preservation going on down in Florida today. Of course, the Florida Fast Forward, uh, and they have, this, this is a gathering of labor, and you guys have all heard me bang the National Association Mortgage Field Services and Eric Miller in the past. Eric Miller is actually made a couple statements in the in the public forums lately that both protect labor and management at the same time the comments have. So I have to give kudos uh, uh, where they go, and he deserves uh, uh, a tip of the hat for what he has said there. They're, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac redefined um, inspection requirements, and in doing so, they're throwing a service out there forcing it on people that have never been trained to properly inspect properties. And, and, and National Association of Mortgage Field is, Services stepped in, and of course Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are both a member of that organization. But Mr. Miller said, hey, whoa, wait a minute. You can't demand these people over here do something they're not trained to do and then put the hook on if you don't do it right, we're taking your money. You have to be able to give them training at the same time for this. So in one fell swoop there, uh, um, he kind of put na the National Association of Mortgage Field Services right in the middle of labor and management, and he stuck up for both of them at the same time, which, in my humble opinion, that is an organization that is a leader in the industry leading the way to do something right for both management and labor. He is the keynote speaker at the event in Florida today, and he's going to be addressing some of these issues 
that, uh, and, and I'm excited. I, I can't wait to hear what he says. We're going to get a live stream out here. And, again, it's for labor, and if anybody in property preservation, if you're labor, all you got to do is say, hey, I'm labor. Can I have that business one-on-one package? It's free to you. Yeah, that's my gift to labor in the property preservation industry this year. All right, Aaron. I Thanks. hope we'll get an update on Monday about what's going on there in Florida. But uh, how do we get a hold of you at Alliday LLC? 775-230-9915. I don't know how long you're going to be around, Dennis. I'm coming into Reno in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to bring these negatives with me, uh, uh, see what we can do here. Mm-hmm. WWW Alliday LLC on the website. It is gorgeous outside already, folks. The sun is up. It's going to be a fantastic weekend. Let's have a great time. Let's all be safe out there. Mm, thank you very all much. Right. That's Aaron from Alliday LLC. Guess what I got here? I don't know. You got a menu. I have the menu for today's uh, daily specials for Friday, the 19th of February at the Silver State Coffee Company and Deli. Oh, it's Friday. You know what Friday means over there? Mmm. Clam chowder. Mmm. <laughs> I love clam chowder. Cup is three fifty. A bowl is $4.50. Uh, you know, I have a friend that always says buy the bowl. It's a better bargain. So... Yeah, yeah so you don't have to eat it all. No, and even if you don't, he still says it's a better bargain. So, you know, a bowl of clam chowder. I love clam chowder. Uh, spaghetti and meat.